This is Dr. R. Abhinesar. I am Senior Consultant and in charge of Critical Care Services in Apollo Specialty Hospitals, Vanagaram. I have completed my Masters in Anesthesiology and after that I have got my higher qualifications in Critical Care. I have completed my European Diploma in Critical Care Medicine. I am a Qualified Intensivist. What is Critical Care Medicine? Critical Care Medicine is one of the fastest growing fields in medicine which has evolved over the past few decades. Gone are the days when people used to be afraid when they realized a patient is in an ICU. Usually, ICU is reminiscent of people being in glass cubicles and totally segregated and isolated and the common public are not allowed to see the patients. It is always thought of as a death sentence. Critical care medicine has evolved rapidly and now we have a dedicated team of intensivists, junior doctors, nurses, physiotherapists and paramedical forces running 24 bar 7 who try to deliver cutting edge technology and world class care to the patients at need. What are the type of cases which we handle? Any patient who suffers a massive heart attack, who has a massive stroke in the brain comes into our unit and apart from that if you have a road traffic accident and if the bones are broken and there is a lot of bleeding the first point of entry would be an emergency and after that the patient is stabilized in a critical care unit and then subsequently taken to the operating room. So the team has to be extremely calculative in the sense they have to coordinate with each other to deliver good care to the patient and the care should be delivered immediately. Coming to other cases which we deal, whenever there is an epidemic of dengue, swine flu, usually the sick patients come into our unit. Even now you would have noticed about the Nipah virus in Kerala. Most of the sick patients were managed in critical care units. The critical care specialists were in the forefront. They were the people who were fighting for the lives of these patients. So in a sense, we are definitely exposed to more infections and there is a lot of work related pressure on us. But still as a team, we try to cope with this. The next important thing is nowadays, we understand when a sick patient comes into the ICU, the family is completely cut out from them. Since the family is cut out, they don't know what's going on in the ICU. So we have evolved certain mechanisms whereby we counsel the patient attenders regularly we take them into confidence and we bring them about in a way that is they are a part of the decision making process. This has solved a lot of problems and in many, many of the situations where the patients are having to in a very, very tough situation, the family takes a major role, plays a major role in making certain decisions for us. Remember, we understand when a patient comes into an ICU, patients are sick. But at the same time, we take extreme care to see to that quality care is delivered to these patients. And there are certain things which stand out in our hospital. We do certain therapies which are not done in certain other places. What do we do? When a patient is suffering from severe septic shock, antibiotics may not be the only answer. We do some novel therapies like filter therapy which is done in the western countries and Japanese where we purify the blood, we try to remove the endotoxins and apart from that, we provide 24 bar 7 ECMO services and continuous renal replacement therapies. For sick patients, difficulty in ventilating, we give prone ventilation as an option also. So this is how we try to give quality care to these patients. And finally, before I conclude, I just want you to remember certain things. The next moment when you see a sick patient of yours, a relative of yours entering into an ICU, don't think that is the end of it. It is not so because remember there is a dedicated dedicated team the next time the next time when you have a very very sick patient or when you have a sick relative who enters into the ICU don't be worried don't think that's the end of the world because remember there is an extremely qualified dedicated and committed team waiting in the ICU to take care of your beloved ones thank you